the reason we're out here today, right? That is the focus. That's the first thing we need to remember when we're coming out and we're coming to give doubt. Why are we here, right? Why did we come out today? You know why we came out today? First, foremost reason we came out, for the sake of Allah. We came out to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, pleased with us. We came out to serve Him. We came to work for Allah today. Because this is an order upon us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us. It's a command. You understand? That not to just save yourselves from the hellfire, but it's also uh, obligatory, right? Incumbent. That now, Alhamdulillah, you have the message of Islam. You have La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. You have the opportunity to be safe from the fire that's gonna cut through the skin and the bones. You understand that? So to say thank you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for being Muslim. Thank you Allah, you made us Muslim. Thank you for that. We come out here now to show how great, grateful we are and spread that same message to these people. The first and foremost reason after we're pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to save these people from hellfire. The Prophet وسلم, said that whoever has heard of the clear message that I have been brought with and does not follow me, he will be in the hellfire. This is clear cut. There is no doubt about it. We cannot sit at home and wonder in our mind and think who's gotten the clear message, who did it, who got it this way, who got it that way. We have to assume that we're here, like Rasul Sallallahu said that his example is like a person who is fighting all of these flies from going into the fire and he's trying to prevent them from entering it. You understand? And he's fighting the people. You understand? Pulling them back while they're running into it. They're running into it. You understand? They don't have the message. They don't have the understanding of why they're even taking their very next step in this world. It's not for us to sit and assume how people are going to end up in their judgment. That's not our right. We need to know. We have to come here and do whatever we can to save their bodies from the hellfire. And that is why we're here. Whether we pass out one flyer today, whether we pass out 10 flyers today, and really that's not our job. The results are in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we came out here to follow our orders and to put in the effort that we've been commanded to put in. And that's it. After that, our intention is pure because we're here doing what we're ordered to do. We're not looking for results. If we get a shahada, that's because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had already written for this person to come here and do that. You understand? If we stand here for five years, and never one person accepts Islam, that doesn't make a difference to us. Do you realize there have been prophets and they came and they were greater than every human being alive, every great da'i alive, every great, they're better than all of them. The prophets of Allah, and they spent their lives and they'll show up on the day of judgment with zero followers. We have to understand that first before we even stand at this table. We're pleased and grateful and honored and blessed and Allah has written for us something that we have to realize how great it really is that we're actually here being one of the few people on earth spending our day spreading the message of Islam. Once you let that understanding penetrate your heart, then you'll realize you're here for the right reason and you're going to get the full reward for why you came. Alhamdulillah. And that's today's first and foremost lesson, inshallah. We'll carry on another day with other things to come backwards, inshallah. So, jazakallah khair. Let's have a good day today. Thank you.